back with us, and uh, we're back. We're just back with us here. We're leaving out uh, the outskirts of Costanza. The sun's out again. Uh, again, it's overcast, guys. We're doing the best we can here, and uh, you're right along with us in the back seat if there's any room left with all the stuff we got. But uh, yeah, it was a great start here. Uh, I want to do as much filming as I can because unfortunately a lot of yesterday got rained out going through the uh, over mountain 4x4 pass. Had a couple of minor breakdowns there but nothing we didn't take care of today. And we're going to just head up to do a bit of filming and have a fantastic lunch in Harabakoa before we head back. Uh, towards the north coast. I'm going to make sure I get this on film. This is just amazing. The plantations here, take a look what's coming into camera now. All this, it's just absolutely amazing. Um, there's nothing but truck after truck after truck of vegetables and fruits <clears throat> going to export, I would imagine, and going to market. It's absolutely beautiful. So I'm uh, going to let these guys chatter for a little bit keep you guys in the loop and you really have to see this to appreciate it when I say Dominican Republic is more self-sustaining than most other places I've been to I, I'm not kidding I'm not saying it's perfect but uh, by any means but I am saying it is pretty self-sustaining hey eh? you guys take over while I watch the road absolutely this is a very uh, sustainable country there's just so much fruit and produce here it's unbelievable. You have everything because of all the different climates and things. It's absolutely gorgeous. And um, the thing is, you know, as you're coming up here, you can see cabbages and things like that. Strawberries. It's a wide variety here for all different types of climates. They export to many, export to many countries outside. Coffee is big as well. Um, they also do stuff inside the country to all the main hotels in Punta Cana and Wandolia and Boca Chica and that. So there's just a wide variety of things here and this country is just so diverse. You've got tropical places, you've got the palm trees, the beautiful uh, clear waters. Then you have the mountains which remind you of Maine, of Vermont or places in Europe such as Switzerland where I've been numerous times. You've got hot weather, cold weather, desert areas. It's just a wide combination. Uh, what is your take on it, Johnny? This is this area is called Tireo Armedio, and I see a lot of plantations, and they are like you said, for um, people make here they are living. They are big enterprises. They are import export. Export uh, They are both here, but if you could check. Over here, there are been business all over. This province is growing up a lot. Oh, I mean, it's totally grown. But if you could check over here, the forest station on the top on my left, there is there are a lot of pines, and over there the land is ready to be to harvest everything. And what do you see, Johnny, on our left? Well, I'm seeing the same thing. I mean, pine trees, you're like, you know, you're up in the north area, I mean, Canada or Maine, it's just like, am I really yeah, in the Northern Dominican, yeah, am I really in the from. DR? You know, it's, it's kind of, sometimes it just takes you back, it gives you kind of like a surreal feel. You know, you can be an hour, you can be at the beach with the palm trees, then within an hour you can be 4,000 feet up and it's just totally, totally different to what you've seen just recently. Hey, why don't you guys fill a minute about last night's meal here? Uh, sure. Uh, we had in uh, Costanza. Yeah, we had a great, great meal yesterday, um, uh, Shivo. Um, it's uh, sheep, uh, lamb. It's no, goat. I'm uh, oh, sorry, goat. That's right. I get mixed up with those two. Uh, a goat with a little bit of spice to it. It was delicious with a beautiful plate of vegetables and, and mashed potato. You know, it was like 12 bucks, 10, 12 bucks. I mean, you can't beat that here. You know, it's organic, it's fresh, it's local produce. You know, we, um, you know, What's in the mountains. What's that place called, man? Hey, it's uh, La, it's, uh, La, La Blanca Angus. Yeah, uh, Aguas, Bla right it's Aguas Blancas or something yeah. like that. Yeah. Something like that, yeah. Aguas, Aguas Blancas. Blanca. Aguas Blancas. Uh, white Waters. Yeah. Uh, Manuel, no, not uh, white waters, white bull, uh, Angus, white oh, bull, Angus, white bull. I'm yeah, sorry, it's okay. uh, you know, uh, white steer, an Angus a steer, right. but everything, everything's 100% natural in there. Everything, 
Might have to wait 35 minutes for your meal, but it's worth it. Well, of course, it's that's you know, uh, we're used to that being living here. You know, everything we really much pretty eat is fresh produce, so we don't mind waiting 35 minutes or even an hour, an hour and a half. You know, yeah, my partner here, uh, Alduino, <coughs> loves his food. And, I uh, love <laughs> the goat and hot sauce, and I didn't know something. The, the, chili, the chili peppers we had over there, they produce it themselves. Oh, really? It, oh, really? Yes, that's what I found out last night when Johnny told me to pick up the ice in the restaurant. Oh, yeah, and I asked nice. to the guy because I, the taste was pretty different to the ones I have tried all my life. And then he went for a bottle and he showed me. They produce it themselves. Even they are planning to grow up in that business around the country, which is a new product, the one they have. It seems almost endless here what they what they have uh, as far as what the climate allows agriculture uh, raspberries and strawberries are big too I mean the strawberries are you know twice the size of a golf ball when they're uh, in season and you can get a whole tray of those things a big tray of them for about three dollars three fifty and uh, the, the floral uh, as you can see the flowers the trees uh, there's an abundance of water here. And the temperature is a lot lower in humidity, and uh, it averages around 76, 77 degrees. So it is, it, it's uh, just ideal for farming. I also love the houses here. They're all wooden. Um, uh, it really reminds me of um, sw uh, chalets out of Switzerland, eh, yeah. Bob? Hey, yeah. Johnny? Well, yeah, or yeah, Switzerland, because my father lives there. It's very, very uh, similar to that. Also places in the south of France, in the mountains as well, in the uh, the Alps, uh, the Pyrenees area, uh, places in Italy. It's it's got that kind of same ambience to it. You know, you've got so much here, and you've got a lot of French people coming here now as well. Uh, the lady at the desk saying we have French people, we have Spanish people. You know, there's a lot of investment now coming in from Europe, so it, it's really good for the country. Was there, a, did she mention, uh, before we cut film, and we'll pick it up a bit later, but did she mention anything about, uh, from my country, Canada or America, is there a lot of uh, people coming now? No, no, she didn't, uh, she didn't say that to us. Uh, Manuel, however, said that to us uh, in the restaurant that we ate at. Okay. Uh, Manuel, he, uh, he's a very nice gentleman, the general manager of, uh, of the uh, the place where we had a delicious meal uh, yesterday afternoon. Um, okay. He said that in season it's a lot of Americans uh, coming here and a lot more Europeans are coming here as well. Alright guys, we'll cut camera and uh, sit back with us, enjoy the ride and uh, we'll be with you a little bit later. Till, uh, till a bit later, it's Barry, and Johnny, and Johnny. Something feels wrong. Bye. Bye.